Hello there and welcome to another video from the Camro series. Today we are going to talk about split toning panel and before we start I just want to let you know that if you want to know more about me or what I do all of the informations are in the description. And now the split toning panel is probably one of the easiest panels to understand in terms how it works and how it affects your image. We have two blocks over here. One is highlights and the other shadows. So how we understand highlights and shadows? Highlights are the bright areas of the image. Looking at the histogram, these are the areas on the right hand side. As you can see, we do not have too many bright areas of this image. So the area of highlights, the bright area is rather limited and we have more of the dark pixels on this image. And these dark pixels are usually seen as the shadows. So when we'll be working with the sliders on the highlights and the shadows, we affect these two areas separately. With highlights, we affect the bright areas of the image and with the shadows, we affect the dark areas of the image. So we have choice of the hue for each of these. The hue allow us to choose the hue for this certain area. So the color orange, it could be blue or any other. So let's choose something for this image. What I want to do here, I want to choose rather cooler color, maybe for the highlights. So I'm going to go with hue over 200, that will be somewhere around the blue color. And then we have another uh, slider, which is saturation. So we can choose intensity of this hue, simply intensity of the color, because as now we have saturation at zero, there is no effect on the image. But if I will increase the saturation intensity of this chosen color is changing. I can adjust the hue a little bit better now, and this is the effect. So of course, I don't want such a strong effect as this moment, even for the presentation purposes. And for the shadows, I could choose something maybe warm because this image has rather warm uh, spring tones, um, not spring, but autumn. I'm mixed up, but I can see yellow leaves over here. So of course, that would be not a spring, but rather autumn. And add some of this warm color for the shadow area. So as you can see, we don't have too many possibilities. We are unable to manipulate with specific colors, but we are able to add the color to the certain regions of the image. In this case, shadows and highlights. So if I will want to keep it all in the warm colors, of course, probably I would go with the warm color for the highlights and the warm color for the shadows. If I would like to add some more diversity, I would split these two uh, into different colors. So for the highlights, I have chosen to add a little bit of this colder light. And for the shadows, I want warm autumn colors. So pretty simple idea behind this and in the middle we have one more slider which is balance it simply allows you to adjust the or rather change the range of the highlights and the shadows so for example as we added some color to the highlights and intensity of this color we are not satisfied because we think it's not strongly visible it's not enough so then by working with this slider in the middle, we can increase the range of the highlights over here. So as you can see, if I will go fully to the right side, this image will be all recognized as this uh, area of highlights. If I will go to the left one, I will increase the area of the shadows. So for this image, we didn't have much of the bright pixels, so we could adjust the area to the right side and then the effect of this blue color would be stronger on our image. So this is it, uh, not many sliders, not very complicated. At the end, I will give you my honest opinion on the split toning panel. I don't really use it in my work, whether I do retouching or other works. Why don't you use it when doing retouching? It gives you quite artificial result. So for retouching, you don't really want to work with this 
general colors and change the colors of the image. At this stage, you just want to adjust the colors and lights naturally at the stage of raw conversion. And also if I do the full edit in camera or Lightroom, I simply don't like to use this panel first because it doesn't give me the full control over the colors, like for example, color mixer. I don't really like to operate with the colors that Splitone offer. I feel it gives a little bit of this artificial look to the image. So this is not something that I like to use, but I believe for some people, it can be useful for people who look for the certain style of the image. It can be useful, but of course, in this video, I try to focus on the information and this is how the split tuning work and affect your image. Thank you for watching. For more information, check the links in the description. I'm full-time retoucher. I'm also educator on the retouching subject. So all of the information regarding what I do are there. Thank you and see you in the next video.